Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny, and welcome to all the new subscribers. We hit over, I think it was 23.8 yesterday. That's great. Let's knock it up to 24. So tell your friends, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe. We got a little bit of snow Saturday. I know some of you guys are really snowed in, and some of you are without power. Saturday morning, we had just enough to barely cover the ground. So by the time the sun come up, it started melting. So I was hoping for more. I know you guys that get a lot of snow are going, no, but I really wanted to see about a foot because I think this is the last snow we'll get this year. Got my sweet tea, of course. But I went to the grocery store this morning to pick up a couple of things just to see if they had sales. Didn't really need anything. I just wanted to check sales. You still can find sales. You got to really look because prices are going up. And our grocery store was probably mm, 70, 75% stocked. They were low on frozen foods. And when I say frozen foods, I mean like convenience foods like pizza, french fries, toaster strudels, waffles, that type of stuff. They... um I see pasta was low. It was probably, mm, pasta was probably about 80% out. Some of the items on the shelf were only two, three rows deep, and they were spread out. Toilet paper was probably about 40% stocked. Paper towels, about 50% stocked. Detergents, dishwashing liquid looked okay. I didn't go down the pet food aisle. I didn't go down the dairy aisle. Drinks, chips, juices were low. Low, I mean about 50% maybe. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I look at. Produce looked good. I think that's about all I checked, guys. But anyway, I did find some sales at Food Lion, so I wanna show you what I found. Now I bought four packs of this boneless pork chops. This is Nature's Prom is supposed to be free from added ingredients. And they're individually wrapped. <laughs> individually wrapped. You know what I'm trying to say this morning. There is one, two, three, four in there. And they were half price. All the meat I'm going to show you is half price. So I'm not going to keep repeating myself. But anyway, I got four packs of those. I like those because... Since they're individual, I can pull out one, two, whatever. Don't have to rewrap them. They had the boneless pork loin in a sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. And I'm going to divide this up before I put it in the freezer. And it was $7.79 for two pounds. Like I said, they were half price. These were 28 ounce mesquite pork loins or pork roast. And they were four nineteen. I got two. And then they had the pinto beans in the Creole sauce seasoned with pork. And these are 20 ounces. Now, these were a dollar a can. Check your dates on your cans. These were good. May to 2023. They had five for five. And I was going to get five. But... Half the cans I pulled off the shelf had expired in, it was either June or July of last year. So make sure you're checking your dates. Now this is a good buy because it's already seasoned. All you gotta do is open it up. You could eat it cold if you had to, but you heat it up and it says it has four and a half servings. Half cup is serving size, 110 calories. So that'd be what, 440 and half of that would be what, 495, 495 calories, almost 500 calories per can. Put this over some rice, and if you had to, you could feed four to five people with this and some rice. This would be good with some Spanish rice. It would be good to put, I like to mash them up a little bit and put them with rice and burritos. I've also made rice and bean tacos. So that was a good buy. But like I said, I only bought four cans. All right, at Food Land for the, all the meat, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs of meat, about nine pounds total. 
it was $37. Then I went to the discount food store. They didn't have that much stock. They were probably, I don't know, maybe a half, and I didn't ask her when a truck was coming in. They did have a good deal on Pillsbury Grand Biscuits. They sell for what, two to three dollars a can. You know, there's eight in a can in the refrigerator section. We call it can, it's a cardboard tube. They had those, a pack of 12 for two dollars and a half. They had just expired. I never would have ate that many, so I didn't get any, but it was an excellent deal. I did get the Campbell's soup. These were 50 cents each. I only picked up six, and they expire December 8, 2023. They probably had maybe about 20 more that I saw of this, and they had the mushroom with roasted garlic, which I don't like, so I didn't get any of that. But I did get six of these for $3. So like I said, about $37 at Food Lion and $3 at the discount store. All right, guys. You've heard me talk about my son. He is a pastor or a minister, whichever you want to call him, in Missouri. And he also writes children's books. And he just came out with his third book, and I want to show him to you. And I'll put the link in the description below. If you want to order them, you can order them off of Amazon. You can do Kindle or paperback. Now, this is the first one he wrote. It's about bears. Let's see if I can get it where you see it better. Open it up and let you see the inside. It's good for children, I would say, about mm, three to nine, maybe, range. But he wrote that one first, and they just got it translated into Spanish. And then the second one he has written is The Grand Old Tree, and it's still the same bear family. And this is the one that he just finished publishing. Now, I don't know how many he's going to wind up writing in the series, but go over and check it out. If you would, help him out a little bit. Like I said, they do have it on Kindle, too, but I don't know something about giving a child a book that they can hold and they can sit there and read themselves to. Now, he is a minister, so if you want to hear any of his sermons, you can just type his name in to Google search, and they will come up. He tried YouTube, but I don't think he really got into it. I don't think he's been on YouTube for, oh my gosh, over a year, and he was doing only like one or two minutes at the time. But he's working on so many things, I guess he just didn't have time for YouTube. But I'm going to be a proud mom and, and brag a little bit on my kids. I know you're not supposed to, but I'm excited for him. All right, guys, I'm going to put this meat up. It's time for Mr. Gizmo's medicine. He is doing better. His rash has disappeared. He's been sleeping well, not waking me up scratching. He's still taking... Um, He's down taking prednisone once a day now, and he's still on allergy and antibiotic. But his ears are looking a lot better. His skin's looking a lot better. And he's not as um, swollen around his eyes because he was really swollen. And right through here, he was swollen. But he's looking good. So I'm happy for him. I'm happy he's not waking me up at night. Dogs are like kids, you know, any pets are like a kid. You still have to get up with them at night sometimes, too. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Have a great day. And look for those sales and stock up when you can. Like I said, even if you can only spend $1 or you can get two of these for a dollar somewhere, now, this will be five servings if you got two of them. Each one's two and a half servings. And there again, I can't eat a whole can at one time. I can eat maybe half a can. Just depends on how much you eat. Same thing with these. You can stretch them further by putting them with rice. But the point is, 
stock up. A lot of shelves are empty. Some of the stuff they're saying it might not be back for two years. So don't panic buy. But when you're in there, if you've got extra money, and you can pick up an extra pack of meat marked down or extra can of beans or extra bag of rice. Pick it up. All right, guys. Have a good day. Thank you.